here it is. It's not done yet, but we're getting somewhere. Uh, right now, I just have six terminal windows running. I can move them around. Uh, it's running Compiz on Xubuntu 14.04 with a bunch of mods, I guess. So right now, if I I'm just gonna move everything out of the way. Boop, boop, you know, and then I hit the corners and, uh, you know, comp is stuff. I haven't used comp is in a while because uh, back when I was using it, it had a lot of issues with uh, the Xorg and it would make it shoot up CPU usage like crazy. So I stopped using it for a while, but now I guess it's fixed because even running all of this stuff, I still don't have... A ton of CPU usage, one three percent, yeah, one percent right now, which is way better than before. Okay, so on to the hardware. Uh, you know the actual interesting stuff. If we can get that to focus. Uh, I bought a super thin keyboard, no numpad, which I do use, but uh, you know I had to sacrifice it for the space. Um, Everything is mounted, it's all bolted in. So uh, the motherboard, this is not going to be here in the final build, but I just have it in there because the system is overclocked from 1.6 gigs to 1.9. And uh, temperatures are a little bit higher than normal, but still within well within the safe limits. I'm using this hard drive temporarily. Uh, I have you know the two terabyte one up here, which will be ready to go any day I just need to make the mounting brackets and uh, get the OS fixed because there's a little bit of issues but uh, for the most part it's basically working uh, power supply also mounted yeah, everything is mounted this speaker is not quite yet because I'm figuring out some kind of like mechanism to uh, lock the screen at a certain angle since this is just flimsy It'll fold all the way back or all the way fro forward. Uh, since everything is bolted in, uh, you would expect that there's probably screw caps on the other side, but there are none. Uh, I wanted to keep the case as original as possible on the outside, so uh, I did that by drilling out all the rivets on each side. Right now they're replaced with screws. I might put uh, aluminum rivets in the future, but I like screws because, you know, it's removable and I can take it apart if something goes wrong. Uh, it's screwed onto basically, or here, I'll explain. So basically it's this plastic folding hinged mechanism, then the uh, plastic outer body with the leather cover. Uh, between that is a layer of cardboard and fabric that is this brown stuff right here. And I basically, I bolted everything to that except for the power supply or the power supply and the motherboard since those kind of need a real ground this not so much but it you know the piece of steel i was using was already big enough the steel is a uh, salvage from an old ps2 keyboard that was broken so i just took out the sheet steel got some standoffs or i made standoffs basically and bolted it in with the uh, lock nuts uh, all the screws used, except for these ones, are uh, very small. I think around 3 or 4 mil. I think they're like 2M nuts with a, uh, with hex bits that require for... Yeah, oh, they're just nice looking, but uh, in this case, I like them because they were really thin and they wouldn't bulge out of the case. Uh, so, yeah, speakers are mounted ish that one is not there's a small amplifier right here that i'm running it i will replace that with a better one but i just wanted to test it right now basically the only thing that's different on the outside is this power cord um yeah <laughs> but it is grounded so it's grounded to this board and it also grounds all the way here which grounds it to this chassis uh for now the power supply or the motherboard is running on this power supply since my pico psu hasn't came in the mail yet and uh, hopefully that all goes together. This should be enough by my test from the previous videos of uh, testing power supplies with dummy loads. Um, 
since this is overclocked, I have tested it. It's above the regular power usage, but it's still well within, uh, you know, well within capabilities of this and the Pico PSU, which is supposedly rated around 150 or 120 watts. We'll know when we find out, and I'll test it and hopefully post a video. Um, so yeah, hard drive will be mounted here, not this one. This is a piece of crap test hard drive. It might even fix some of the problems I'm having, uh, like the timing issues because it's so slow. Uh, yeah, this keyboard will fit into this area right here. That's why I, I can't fit it here because if I fit it above the, uh, the motherboard, then there won't be any more space for the screen to fold down. Uh, this will be, the keyboard will be removable from a small slot, but really it's meant to stay inside. I wanted it, you know, all in one, kind of like a laptop, you know. I, I wanted it to take up as least, as little desk space as possible, even though the thing is freaking giant. Uh, but yeah, that's all for now. Uh, sorry about the shaky cam. I've recorded this three times and my phone crashed the last two. And uh, so I have to make this video a bit short. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I'll hopefully answer them. And if you're interested in any tutorials on how to actually do any of this stuff, uh, I'd be happy to make a video for you guys. Thanks for watching.